Hi, welcome to Ranger Country. I am Peter. And I'm Lawrence. And we're here today to look at another offering from Reximax. This is the new Zone. Okay. They like to bring them out with some funky names. Very Americanized, isn't it? Meta. Mm. What was the last one? Meta. 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 Mm. Yeah. That was only a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yes, right. brand new thing on the on the block. Yeah, we're ready to. We're here to give it a go. Yeah. So let's get into it. Let's let's have a look. So this is the synthetic one that we've got on test today. Synthetic two two, and these have a, an adjustable butt plate, adjustable butt pad. It's you can lift it up and down. You can't twist it side to side, and you can't extend it or anything. But it's still quite nice to have. They hmm. don't have that on the walnut version, which is the other model that they do, the other stock that they do. Moving forward, you've got side lever at the back here, which is fine. Obviously, we'll get into handling uh, a little bit later. And that is uh, interchangeable to left-handed as well, apparently. Obviously, we're doing or to put it on the right side, right side for a right-handed shooter. You could put it where it should be. Well, it is it is on the correct side for right because it's on the right. So it's, I don't know. Onward, yeah. Anyway, magazine hole. Obviously, it's multi-shot. You get so just going back to that side lever. How is that minutes. side lever smooth? Well, that's more of a handling. Oh, yeah, it is. Very smooth. Even though it's at the back, it's very, very smooth. Very easy to use. You've got a little bit of a ridge here um, as, it, as it sort of locks in, but once it's back, smooth all the way back. Okay. We've been saying and we've been seeing recently that Reximax, um, Reximax and Kral and other sort of Turkish guns, um, have really been coming on in leaps and bounds with just being a little bit nice around the edges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Reximax have overtaken Kral. Well, I think they were. I think they were the 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 Lexus to load to, the Lexus to Toyota. The the Rexmex were the, to to crowd. That little okay. bit, little bit nicer. That's that's certainly my my understanding of them when they first came out. Hmm. Now I was talking to the guys from Rexmex from the factory at the one of the, at the big trade show in Germany two weeks ago, and. I gave them feedback that that we find with the with the guns, and I, uh, you know, I told them that it's nice to see that they've been evolving and the quality of their products has been increasing. Like the edges on the early Turkish guns, the edges were a bit rough, a bit sharp. weren't yeah, finished very well, especially finished. on the wooden stars. Yeah, but then the, the the guy that was talking to he he was saying how. The quality control is at, when they're, when it's at the end. If if they're not happy with the gun, they'll put it back to the start of the production line, and they'll remake the whole gun. Okay. And I was quite impressed with that. Mm. Now, I think probably other manufacturers. I mean, o other manufacturers probably ought to listen as as Reximex have, and you know try to grow with it. But they're they're becoming. They're becoming a, a bit more of a major player, aren't they? Yeah, hundred percent. I, I still think they 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 sit themselves in the not too expensive bracket, sort of entry level to, to sort of. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with that. Up to seven, six, seven hundred quid, sort of thing. Well, this is cheaper than that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But I think I think the thing is, you get them a lot for your money, aren't you? A yeah, lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, absolutely. So, shall we carry on after that little tangent? Two magazines. Most Kral and Rexmex do, uh, but you get two magazines. They are the standard sort of standard uh, Rexmex mag, twelve round in two two, which as I say is what we've got here today, and fourteen round in one seven seven. Now they have changed these a little bit, aren't they? they, they these are quite. These feel a lot more rugged yeah. than the older Kral stroke, the early Rexmex ones, aren't they? Yeah. You've got a little yellow carousel in there. Yeah. 
little yellow interior. I believe that's a different material to obviously what they, what they were before. They're a lot stronger. They're still plastic, still fully plastic, um, but they're a lot stronger um, and a lot better made than, than they used to be. And they're not 75 quid each for a spare mag. They're not 75 quid each for a spare mag. But Carry anyway, on. yeah. Uh, reverse ball side lever. Obviously, we mentioned that when we, when we said how smooth yeah. it is. Um, I don't know the logistics of it. We don't know how to actually change it, but allegedly it's, it's interchangeable to left handed. We've got a. Now, this was interesting when we we're doing our crib sheet for, for, for our notes here. It's a weaver rail up top. It's very, very clearly just weaver. That's all it is. Not their sort of standard dual rail, like on the Potensis and some of their other guns. Yeah. That would do 9 to 11 and weaver. A dedicated weaver, isn't it? Yeah. More of a, yeah. Which is, I mean, it's sort of tactical style rifle. So it's a sort of, ta sort of tactical style mount. You can have yeah. night vision, that sort of thing, straight on there. Nice and easy to use. Definitely. Yeah. Quite a big cylinder there, Lawrence. Mm. What's mine just looks like it's today we've got a we've got a vent hole there and we've got a vent hole there. So that looks like the start and the finish of the, the main cylinder. Probably a regulator in there, and then you've got a red pressure gauge there, haven't you? Yeah, so it's 260cc. Um so it's the same as the pretensis, I believe. It might be the it might be the same cylinder. Um and we couldn't find an accurate quote for shot count for UK spec, for sub-12 spec. That's the problem, isn't it, with these uh, yeah. foreign-produced guns? Yeah. I, I filled up to 200 before we started to, started doing any zeroing or anything, and it's now on 180, even through all my zeroing, all both far sort of practice shots um, and everything. So it's, I reckon, mid-100 shot count, 150 to 200. That's a lot of shots, isn't it? That's quite a bold yeah. statement for you to say. Yeah. Yeah, the gauge doesn't jam, does it? <laughs> It'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. But no, that I mean that's uh, and it is a two hundred and fifty bar fill on this one. That's what it says? Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty bar. So you, yeah, you've got a reg pressure gauge on the side here. So that's set at uh, this particular two two is set at about ninety bar. Um, quite high for a two two. That's quite nice actually, that isn't it? Not that you, I'm not a big fan of regulator gauges because it's a uh, it's like on a car, but manufacturers doing away with the temperature gauge. Yeah. It's one other thing to worry about and think about. So, yeah, but they're nice clear gauges. And that one. Nice colour coding. Yep. We've got shrouded barrel. Looks quite smart. Keeps it quite quiet. It's actually quite quiet, actually, isn't it? Quite, quite, it's, it's without even without a silencer on, it's actually uh, quite quiet mm. as it is. You've also got half inch UNF thread up there, so any sort of standard moderator will go on. What has it got? It doesn't. It's got a screw there. I, I bet you've got one in the box. I would wager yeah. that you do. That's probably something that we should have looked at. But now, yeah. I was looking at other uh, people's specs. This doesn't come in a hard case, does it? No, it doesn't. It comes in a cardboard box. Big fish, little fish. Yeah. Uh, yes. Comes in a quite nice cardboard box with contoured uh, foam in it. But yes, it doesn't come with a hard case. No. It, it, yeah. Also on their spec, uh, on the, the other spec sheets that we saw, uh, it said 400 and something cc bottle, which is very yeah. clearly not what they said. I think they were the way with the fairies, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. But yes. Um, yeah, it's got a trigger on it. Trigger makes it go bang. That's a good job. Uh, I don't believe it's adjustable, but it's got a trigger on it. It's got adjustable blade on it. You can move it up and down and twist it side to side. Yep. Which I'm is... sure it's not adjustable. Unless I'm blind. That's a safety That's cap. That's a straight safety there, isn't it? That's all right, though. I'll be honest, I didn't even notice it. Very positive. Yep, nice. That's sort of Brocock style, isn't it? Yeah, Brocock, um, very much so. Snapper yeah, very Commander. Whether you could adjust the trigger with the uh, with the stock off, I do not know. Possibly. Oh, it's one of these linkage triggers, isn't it? Because it's mechanisms back here. Yeah. So, what did you think of the trigger when you were when you were zeroing it? It was 
Yeah, it was all right. Did you take any notice? Yeah, Didn't I did. Notice it was. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right. Um, not to break the sort of fourth wall here, but uh, we're doing this on the same day that we did the FX DRS review. Uh, so shooting these back to back was quite different. Quite different. Trigger on the DRS is so much nicer, but that's a lot more expensive rifle. It's a much higher end rifle. The trigger on this is the bullpup style. So as you say, you've got a linkage from the trigger here to the workings at the back here. So you, you lose some feel with that. Takes away a bit of the feedback, doesn't it, that, yeah. you, that you get? It was fine. You okay. could you could you knew when it was gonna when the trigger was gonna let off. Um it wasn't the sharpest, it wasn't the, the crispest. It was nice. I'm sure that's definitely a word. But it was it was quite nice. It's alright. Hmm. I saw nothing wrong with that, is there? No. But shall we? I can feel us getting dangerously close to. Shall we have a little recap? Um, we'll have a little regroup and go into handling. We've both had a bit of a play with this, haven't we? You've shot it a bit more than, than I have. Handling. Yeah. What do you think to it? Uh, it felt very nice. So numbers on it is four kilos with the scope on, apparently 3.3 .3 without. Okay. It hides that very well. It's, it's yeah, I suppose it's, it's fairly chunky. Or fairly weighty, but it's not chunky. It's it feels nice in the shoulder. Um, everything fits comfortably. The front grip on my on my front hand there is quite um, quite it's quite skinny. Uh, well, it's it's, it's, a, it's a nice it's a nice width, nice girth. Um, yeah, it's very comfortable. Very okay, comfortable. I really enjoyed it. Um, the trigger was fine, but everything everything else about it was really really nice, really smooth cocking lever. It's a shame it's at the back here, but you can you can soon get used to that. Now let's go back to me saying it's on the wrong side for a right-handed person because you know we, we have this little joke, don't we? That oh, I think it should be on the on the left-hand side. With it being a ball put, with it being right back there, of course it is on the right side, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd be in your cheek, and uh, yeah. So I stand corrected on this gun, just this one. So don't let anyway. that go to your head. Yeah. Besides all of them, yeah, you, you'll agree on this one. <laughs> um, yes, feels very nice. Uh, really like it. Hides its weight well. Um, lengthwise, it's nine hundred mil, so it's fairly standard size um, for. So it's not a short rifle. It's not a short bullpup. Fairly standard sporter length, even. You get a good length barrel with that, don't you? Mm. And uh, you get a good length cylinder. Yeah. Yeah. 500 mil, something like that. Mm. Now, my my take on this, so I think I think my word for it, I think the feel of it and the weight of it, I think utilitarian would be probably probably no frills. That implies rough around the edges. It implies heavy to use. It implies like the old bike or shotguns. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. Which I think that does this a disservice. Okay. It's much nicer. It's it's not sharp around the edges. Everything's the fit and finish on it is is really really good. Um, like you were saying earlier, Rexmax really bringing up the game. Ah, I really quite like it, actually. Yeah, no, I, th I think I think you're right. Uh, probably, probably was utilitarian, probably the wrong word, but in in respect of, it's finished nice. It does the job. They haven't probably skinned the weight down, no. like the pro probably other manufacturers might have done. Um, hard to fault it. Yeah, it, it really is, yeah. and. I know you zeroed it earlier on, didn't you? Yeah. How did it shoot? Straight out of the box, very, very well. 
Because we had a, what was the last one? The, the, the meta? meta? Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, that was the last one. So I broke the uh, the pull through on that one, didn't I? Yeah, because that was all over the place. Well, it was, it was quite a poor group in to start with. Um, that needed, wasn't you? I don't think it was me. <laughs> uh, so clean the barrel and that was absolutely bang on, obviously, in the video previously. Um, but this was straight out of the box. Okay. Straight out of the box. I zeroed it. Bang, thank you very much. Obviously, we've got an element helix on it, um, so that was really easy to zero. Um, bang it in, zero it, done. Okay. Yeah. So maybe they clean the barrel before they sent it to us, because they know it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think that video had been released, so they couldn't have known. Oh, okay. But, but yes, yeah. unless it, this particular one is just a good one, uh, we don't know. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a go at shooting it? Let's see what it can, let's see what you can do. Yeah. yeah. Do okay. So Lawrence, now we've we've heard all about it. We've had a good look at it. Let's see what it can perform like. I know Absolutely. that you uh, zeroed this a little bit earlier on, didn't you? Yes. How how was it? Was it easy to zero? Was it absolutely bang on? Was um, it? We've got the element helix on here. Uh, it's one of the we've got a few uh, scopes that we have sort of on hand that we sort of alternate each week um, using. We've got the Element Helix on it today. And uh, yeah, it's bang on. Going posh. Yeah. Um, I will say... Oh, here we go, here we go. In the mic. Uh, yeah. No, no, um, it doesn't excuse any lack of accuracy. Um, I've intentionally zeroed these low. Okay, why is um, that low? Because it's too, I, I can't do both at once, can I? Um, because it's 2.2 two, and because it's quite a big magazine, it's going to make a bigger hole. Um, so if I zero it to exactly in the centre, after three or four shots, it's going to completely take away my aim point. So my aim point is going to change. That's if you hit the centre. Assuming I take the centre out. Yeah. So it should be, he says. Your guess is as good as mine. Quite low. Okay. Quite low. That's the first pellet is that's that's about where I've said it. Yeah, okay. the first pellet has been sat in there against the spring tension for a good while, so we'll see if that has affected anything. Okay. No. So when you say you zeroed it, you didn't really zero it to the. Yeah, it's on the target. What more do you want? <laughs> Oh, was that you? Mm, possibly not. Oh, people tell me off for talking while he's shooting, so they moan at me. So I'd better, better not talk to him. Let me change my grip, because that looks like, that does look like me. I thought it was having a game of battleships for me. Brilliant. Well, those, you've got four pellets pretty darn close to each other there, haven't you? Yeah, that's since I changed my grip. Okay. So the sort of lateral movement was me being tired or something. Tired now? That is a new one, that one. Yeah, I don't think we've used that we one, We haven't actually. had that one yet, have we? Where did that go? Uh, it's banging them all through that big-ish okay. hole. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? For a uh, not bad at all for a Rexy Max. <laughs> How much are these? I I don't know. They haven't been out too long, have they? No. Uh yeah yeah. So it started wandering off. Um, but then you started wandering off. I started wandering yeah. off. I changed my because you were tired. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, and the no, I can't blame the gun. Um, come back to me. I'll think of another excuse. Okay. Um, it's quite interesting because this is also this is straight out the box ish. I've zeroed it, and this is it. Um, we did the Meta, which is another Rexmex new rifle. Um, came out a few weeks. They're ago. bringing out a lot, aren't they? Recently. Yeah. Well, Are we... they in bed with FX? Do you think? <laughs> Funny you should mention that. <laughs> awesome. <didn't they? laughs> um, and that was a bit all over the place to straight out of the box. So that needed cleaning, I think, though, didn't it? Yeah. I broke the cleaning uh, pull through on it. Yeah. And you had to sort it. But this was straight out of the box. So, yeah. Now I said earlier that uh, when I went to the EOA show at uh, Nuremberg last week, uh, and I was actually talking to the Reximex guys on the stand, as I, as I mentioned earlier. And I was saying how they have come along and how they've they've developed their their products, and they take they've taken the rough edges off, and everything's just getting that little bit tighter, a little bit neater, a little bit smarter, a little bit more quality control, a little bit less wobbly. And he was actually telling me how they how they test the guns and how they check them, and if they're not happy, they will go back to the production line and they'll they'll rebuild it. Okay. And it was it was really quite interesting. Hmm. And I gave him feedback, you know, issues that we've come across. And he was, you know, genuinely pleased that I did. You know, he says, because we, we need to hear this to, to help improve our product, you know, hmm. each time. So, but <laughs> you can't fault that, can you? Again, no. they're really up in the game. They, they really are. It's, uh, that is, uh, they're all through pinky nail and this is a two-two they're all through pinky nail grouping pinky nail yeah the little finger yeah 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 <laughs> okay so in conclusion then uh i really like it um we've had we get a lot of customers obviously when we deliver around the country we get a lot of customers that say that they watch our videos because we're so honest um other reviewers can be quite, uh, uh, hmm, can exaggerate and be. I'm just waiting for what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah I didn't want to. Yeah. Anyway, everything's gr everything's brilliant. Yeah, apparently everything's brilliant, and it's not. Um, I think we do say that when we mean it, and today's one of those days. I really like it. Uh, when I was at the suppliers and they showed me it, I was like, "Yeah, it's actually really, really, really smart." And then he told me the price, and I was, yeah, even more pleased. So I obviously ordered plenty there and then. Uh, yeah, it shot very, very well. That was ex exceptional. Um, I had a little bit of a um, hesitation about the trigger earlier. I know I said that it was fine, I think I used. Um, it clearly does the business, yeah. Clearly I'm just moaning for nothing. It's very, very accurate, very comfortable to use. Um, I quite like the weight. It kept it quite planted um, on the on in here, but I think I could wander around with that for, for maybe you're rabbiting or ratting or whatever. This reminds me a little bit. You know the uh, the uh, Daystate Pulsar. Yes. Quite a heavy, quite a heavy gun. Put it in your shoulder, yeah, and that weight disappears. Yeah. yeah. That was electronic. So you had the you had six, yeah. you had six AA batteries powering it. Yeah, those are the days. Um, yes, I quite like it. What do you think? You, now, for me, I think Rexamax have done a fantastic job of tidying up the edges, smooth, smoothing it off. No burrs on it. Just making Everything's... it a little bit nicer. And I think for the price point, I mean, we're looking at around the five hundred pound mark. Yep. As the video goes out, I think it's one of those that, that's quite hard to beat. Regulated mm. rifle, nicely put together. It's, it's they're starting to feel quality, aren't they? Yep. They're the Rexy makes the, the the Turkish guns. They've come a long, long way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if someone asked me for a, a ratting gun or a rabbiting gun, it's sort of five hundred quid. Um, it's going to be hard not to push them for one of these. Yeah, I agree. But um, yeah, you're getting you're getting you're getting everything for your money, aren't you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You've got, you've got two mags. You've got regulator. You've got good shot count. 
It would be nice if it came with a hard case, but the Rex Mex hard cases like that come with the Ixia are mm. poor crap. Yeah. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna. I, I turned it down from the word that I was gonna use, but yeah, because uh, they're not wide enough to put a scope on. Now that is a is a drawback. Now this has got this is quite a wide rifle, isn't it? It's quite, with yeah, it's quite deep. So one of our hard cases would fit that wouldn't it yeah. but i know what you're saying some of these hard cases the crowl hard cases you think why, why would they do it just make it a few quid cheaper and don't include the poor hard case because they're not they're not very useful they fall apart you know throw a slip in yeah yeah or something like that yeah but yeah no otherwise can't can't grumble it feels solid it's not scratchy it's not no no, it's probably Walther Walther Rain feel to the to the synthetic maybe. I think that does this a discredit. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. I think the I think the rain feels, feels plasticky. plasticky. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if if the rain felt like this, I'd be absolutely happy with it. Even happier than you were. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just so, just the, the finish on the synthetic, it's just really good. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to knock it. And you know that if we, if we, if there's a problem with the gun, we will knock it. And we will, you know, we will say exactly what the, what we've found with it. But yeah, hard, hard, hard to have a drawback on this one, I think. Yep. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. And it shot absolutely out of it, out of its mind. Uh, once I sorted myself out, it was, <laughs> once I was less tired, okay. less crap. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely bang on. Absolutely doing the business. Absolutely bang on. I really like it. Yeah. He won't sit still. Yeah. Cool. Now, I, th I think what we need to do, because we, we, I don't know if viewers know, but we've got a large shooting range, air gun shooting range. Um. And I think I think we need to put guns like this down on the range. I, I think we need to have a uh, like a tester down at the range so people can actually come along and try them and uh, yeah, and actually feel what we're feeling. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, bro. Right. So it's a winner. Yeah, I think so. I have. Yeah, I think I've made that pretty clear. I really like it. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thank you. Please like and subscribe in one of those corners there, maybe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.